What's up family? Welcome to WNHH TV where we cover the hottest artists and trending entertainers. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. So today we got sad news it has been reported that man rich homie Kwan sadly passed away today at the age of 34 due to a drug overdose allegedly. Rich homie Kwan has been a big influence in the rap game today and was known for his unique style and melodies. Rich homie Kwan was very vocal about his battle with drugs and his addiction. Rich homie Kwan opened up about his struggles with drugs and the music industry in his interview with Math Hoffa. Be sure to check this out and let me know what you think about this in the comments. Also like this video and subscribe to the channel to help this video get recommended. I'm still booked every week though. Some mm -hmm. money ain't slowing down. So it's out. That's some good money still. Mm -hmm. It just ain't them 40s and them 50s I was getting. Right. But I'm still, I'm still going to Dubai. You know what I mean? Dubai. Dubai gonna give me more than that. So I'm doing Dubai's and all that. But now, man, Fly ain't talking because of the litigation, man. Fly not talking at all. You know what I'm saying? I can't drop no music. My show money down. Um, man, I got a dark cloud over my head, bro. I probably was the person. I would definitely say. I probably was the lowest I was in my life, because you got to think, man, I went from here to here fast. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I blame myself. And, I, and, I, and, 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 and it's growth. And I know it was my fault. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might have said some shit six years ago in the interview of cussing nigga up. And I ain't that same corn no more, because, like, I've grown. So even if I did, I'd tell a nigga, man, don't fault me for that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm growing, man. You know what right. I'm saying? I didn't know, like... Was it was it drugs involved? Oh, hell yeah, man. I was on Molly every day. Oof. Listen, geeked up. Bike down. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking, bro, I felt like I, I couldn't do a show or a song without being on Molly. When did that start? When did the habit start? When the habit started, uh, shit. On the road, when I when I first I, when I first got the road, I didn't on the road. The eight hundred dollars show, I ain't drink no liquor, no lean, no mm -hmm. none of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, after some type, no, nah, before then, before some type of way, we was doing so many shows, I couldn't stay up. Mm -hmm. So I knew some people like, but I got something to keep you up. That motherfucker kept me up, and you know, it was a machine after said, that. If you don't mind, who said that's that? where the babies was coming huh? from? <laughs> you don't mind who said that to you? Who said they got something? For you to keep you up, somebody from the industry or one of your friends. It's a family member. Oh, family member. Damn. 